I'd really like this one right here, the hamburger vending machine. Let's give it a go. It's 300 yen. 300 big ones. Wish us luck. We get it? Yeah, that's a different one. Oh, here's an interesting one. It's called Oji-san. You got the grandpa there in the center of the... What is that? Some kind of sushi or dumpling? Okay. Oh, he's in a suit too. Okay, I like that. It's a guy in a suit with food. That's me. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, I can't see in this one. Uh-huh, that's a secret, deep secret. Here we are at the King's Treasure Box. This machine right here is the king of vending machines in Japan. You know why? Because I got one of these cameras right here. See that Canon G9X? I got a Canon G7X from this vending machine, which is a $600 camera. I'll put a link to it right up there if you want to check it out. Yeah, so generally I think it's a bit of a ripoff. It costs 10 bucks, which is a thousand yen. So let's do that get out my hard-earned YouTube cash and we'll see what we can get I would really like another camera but who knows I mean there's all kinds of like cool electronic gadgets and things in here I mean you can get like that tank remote control tank would be cool or that VW bug like Baja bug off-roader thing there's a lot of cool stuff there's robots in here you've got like all kinds of just amazing stuff yeah let's get some a lot of electronic stuff Okay. Goodbye, thousand yen. And it works like this. There's buttons you push, and these are all random. So the machine is full. You just choose a triangle. And I'm gonna start from the bottom, and I'm gonna count to six. So we'll go from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Definitely this one. Ready? Here we go. And listen for the drop. We wanna hear something heavy. Oh, wow, that was really, that was a huge thump. Did you guys hear that? Something heavy. Definitely a camera. Yeah, or a remote control product. Going in. Do we feel lucky? Woo! What do we have here? It's a Marvel watch. Oh, yes. A Marvel watch. Oh, cool. This is very cool. It's got a nice rubbery band. I really like this. We are styling with our new Marvel watch. I am loving this. If we could just get it to work. So I'm at the watch shop now trying to buy a new battery for my Marvel watch. He's looking it up on the computer. It's a special battery, a really small one. Got the new battery for 200 yen. This battery was discontinued in 2014. So this watch has been in that machine for six years. Is that right? Could be. We'll keep our fingers crossed here. Is it gonna work? Uh-oh. Oh, come on, pop in there. Haita! Go it kana? Say no. Do. I can't see it. Is it moving? Yay, it's moving. Success! Here they are. These are the Gashapon. Brand new items. And we got a special guest today. Hey, say hello. All right, and you're going to open these today and hopefully help us set them up and show them off. Go for it, man. What is it? I think it's a vending machine. Woo! That's the Hot Foods vending machine? No way, I've been trying to get this one for a long time. Alrighty, we've got our hot snack vending machine set up. We need to load up the stuff. Can you load up the stuff, Mega? Right there. You load the machine from the top. Mm-hmm, just like that. You can put like maybe two in each because we got four items in this machine here. 
And they're calling it the Hot Snack Vending Machine. Okay, loaded up, ready to go. What are the four items? A hot dog? And then what else? This one is takoyaki. Uh-huh. And yaki onigiri. Yaki onigiri, which is uh, fried rice balls. Yeah. And okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki! I've never seen that in a vending machine. I'd like to order one of the okonomiyakis, please. It's a Japanese pancake. All right. We'll push the button and pull the lever. Does it deliver? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> best day of my life right here. This is the best vending machine ever. Oh, yeah. Moving on, we got two left. What's next, Mega? What is that? The Green Lantern? What is that? Is that food? What is that? Some kind of seaweed? <laughs> what in the world is that? Is that wasabi root? What is that? It looks like spinach. Or is that edamame? Okay, sometimes it's helpful to read the instructions and see what's going on. It's called Ojisan. Gram oh, the Grandpa food items. And he's wearing a suit. That's why I was interested in this one. He's wearing a suit. So we got this one right here. What does that say right there? Can you read that, Mega? It says, Parsley Ojisan. Parsley. <laughs> oh, parsley. Oh, this is too much. All right. Is that the Ojisan right there? Is that him? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, pull him out of there. We gotta, oh, this is too much. There he is. There is the character right there. The Oji-san. He's pretty cool. He's pretty dandy looking, isn't he? There's a hole right in the middle of the parsley, so he probably fits right in the center there. Yeah, he's <laughs> being consumed by the <laughs> parsley. And the and there's french fries. It's parsley yeah. and french fries together. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know. Just put him in the hole and... Does he go? Does he fit in there? I lost the only time. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. oh man, we lost the main character. <laughs> Did you find him? <laughs> this is comical. Yeah, the grandpa's down. The grandpa took a fall under. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's alive. Okay, he's alive. That's good. Let's get our studio lighting. This is a serious production we got going here. This is the final resting place of the Grandpa Oji-san. Parsley man. Oji-san. The next day. Here we go, and it comes with mayonnaise. We're definitely gonna put some mayonnaise on it. There's the fish right there. So inside this is bacon and cheese, which is really rare, because generally they're sweets. Let's get the mayonnaise, got a little pack of mayonnaise here. It's like a pancake, it's, it's a sweet bread. The egg, it looks like an Egg McMuffin. A slice of bacon there, and we just load the mayonnaise here. Oh yeah, cover it in mayonnaise. There it is, that should do it. Mm-hmm. Ready? Going in. Cheers. Does he swim? He does swim. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that egg. Oh. Get some. Oh man, this is really good. I'll tell you what, it's better than an Egg McMuffin. Oh, and it's not that sweet. You know, it's more bread-like than a pancake. Kind of a mix between a pancake and bread. 
but it's toasted really nicely. Beautiful flavor. Oh. Ready for dessert? Taiyaki number two. Okay, this is the premium cream. Oh my goodness. Look Oh. It's a really, really rich custard. That is amazing. Oh, it is delicious. Definitely the thickest custard I've ever seen. Super, super creamy. That was really good. I wish you could buy those out of a vending machine, you know? That'd be even more awesome. Here we go. Oh, look at that. What are those? Dead ahead there. That is a room of retro vending machines right there. Let's check it out. So here's a look at the rundown building. <laughs> And on the first floor is a collection, a pretty large collection of vending machines. Yeah. So they got them on the outside. And then you can go on the inside. Oh, wait up. This is a popcorn machine. Definitely going to try that out. Going into the cave. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Be careful. Might run into a ghost in here. Look at that. They sell baseballs in a vending machine. How about that? A bunch of different canned goods. Oh boy, we're gonna get something from here. Look at that. What are those po potato chips in there in that can? They've got cow piss water. They sell juggling balls. How about that? You could get a new set of juggling balls. Hmm. I think we need to do that, huh? Oh, they sell seal meat. Seal. Oh, escargot in a can. Oh, goodness. What do we have here up at the top? Oh, those are bullet trains in a, like a canister. How about that? A giant beetle in a can. You can get a model of a minivan in a vending machine. Omikujine. This will tell your fortune for Fortune. Fortune. Sold out. Even bigger beetles here. Let's see what else we got here. There's another room here. This is the main room. Yeah, it's pretty dark in here, but... Oh, so many interesting things. Here's a necklace of bells. What do you call that? Look at that, huh? It's like Mardi Gras. And we've got some secret boxes there. Can full of chocolates. There it is, there's the seal meat. <laughs> oh, look at this, this is honey. Honey in a can, you get three jars for five bucks. Whoa, no way, look at this, it's a little bit hard to see. Those are chocolate coins in there for 12 bucks. And there's one more place, secret entrance. Like from here to here is only about oh, less than two feet across. You have to get in, you gotta go in sideways. I can't get in with my backpack on my back. Yeah, I gotta go sideways. Oh wow, this is a trip. This place is a retro. These machines are old. Yes, they are. This place is seriously a rundown. I love it. <laughs> I thought it was broke, but actually it just says the, the butter is the only flavor they have available. So that will be just fine. Popcorn vending machine, $2. And I believe it's this one. Ready? machine's probably 40, 50 years old. Oh, there it is. You can see it inside there. It's popping. Look at that. Oh! It's rotating and popping it. Very cool. Looks like it's ready. I think it comes out down here. Oh, now it's up here? It was here. Here it comes. Here, here, here. So it drops it down. Oh! Love the presentation, how you can see it being cooked in there, or being popped. That's the opening to the outside right there. I mean, look, here, okay, here's my backpack. That's, the backpack just barely fits through there. 
Okay, they're calling it the Popcorn Parade. Yeah, love these characters on here. Butter, popcorn, butter show you flavored. It smells really buttery, salty too. But how does it taste, huh? Not bad, not too bad. It's definitely buttery, it's definitely buttery. And fresh, freshly popped in the machine. You witness that, look at the butter on that piece. You know, salted just about right, but hot popcorn out of a vending machine? Woohoo! best day of my life. So this machine is totally unique. I've never seen anything like it before. We've got these little boxes with messages on them. And the messages are of Japan news articles. And most of them are talking about some dark or negative stories, some kind of gossip or something. It's Most of them are sensational news stories of the past. Right, everyone is different. They're about five bucks each. Oh, here's a very useful vending machine. Can you guess what it sells? Here's the slogan that says, Happy Family Life, High Class. Oh my goodness. Passion. Oh, the Okamoto Company. Yep, yep, they're the best. Yep. Get a box of condoms. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> This one sells ganky drinks. Yep, all kinds of interesting things in here. These bottles, yep. If you got a bad hangover, yep, you drink one of these down and your day is about to start out with a bang and your headache will go away immediately. Super balls in a vending machine, huh? Look at that. Nice collection of super balls for eight bucks. A little overpriced, but I like that big one on the bottom, that pink one. I am really, really curious about these juggling balls in this machine right in there. Look at that. Baseballs too. But I'm just curious if they're like, if they have any weight to them or there's, they're all foam or hollow or what they are. I think they're spongy. But if they've got some weight to them, then they're a good juggling ball. And I like the colors. I'm going to go for the yellow one there. Number 49. Let's, let's try 49. Two hundred and ninety yen, a little less than three bucks. Forty-nine. Okay. There it comes. It's inside. Oh, there it is. Interesting. Pull. Oh, it's really light. It's one of these. It's not a good juggling ball. Oh well. This vending machine sells some interesting canned goods. Yes, I'm specifically interested in the cherries right there. Sun Yao cherries for 200 yen. They've also got pineapples there on the bottom. And mandarin oranges in a can. Yep, pretty good stuff. So dashi fish stock right there if you're interested in cooking. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the Odans, and they got the crackers. Yeah, definitely gonna go for the cherries. Yep. There's also yakitori in a can up here. Look at that for six bucks. Right there, yakitori in a can. And up at the top, they've got bear curry. A bit pricey at $16. Bear curry right there. Yeah. Looks like 34 or 35 for the cherries, okay? 35. My age. Canned cherries. Don't think I've ever had these before and they're nice and chilled. Yes. Sun Yo cherries. They're Sun Yo cherries. A cherry a day keeps the doctor away. Mmm. 
Wow. Not too sweet. These are nice. They're not in a heavy syrup. They're in a very light, very light syrup. Found another interesting item here. It's the Chip Star Company. It's tomato and olive oil or asparagus and bacon. Definitely asparagus and bacon. Number 34. Price is 160 yen, so about $1.50. goes kick it out take it down down goes the elevator pull oh yeah love me some asparagus love me some bacon and put them together double love so this is the Japan knockoff of Pringles right they come in a tube oh my goodness it tastes like eating a salad Wow, I'm tasting way more asparagus than bacon. Very fresh taste. After eating potato chips, we definitely need something to drink. And this machine has it right there. That's the one we're after. It says Zeti Grape. Grape Jelly. It's a grape jello drink. That's what it is. <laughs> Number 11. Woohoo! Time for dessert. So what we're gonna do here is remove the wrapper so we can see inside. See the jelly, the chunks. That didn't help at all, did it? Uh, I hope it's not too sweet. Oh. Uh. There's the texture right there. Sorry to gross you out, but I had to show you what the texture is all about. There it is. It's actually really, really good. It's just a tad bit on the sweet side for me. No vending machine video is complete without the every burger right there. These are hard to find right there. They're little hamburger snacks, chocolate cookie snacks shaped like hamburgers. They're fabulous. Yep, number 19. 19. Oh. oh. 160 yen. Let's try to use all my change here. Number 19. Mm -hmm, coming down. Woohoo! Oh, definitely the best day of my life if we're gonna have some every burger. I don't do these often, but when I do, it's always a treat. Love the packaging. I'd have to say, this is my favorite snack in Japan right here. And they are in the Get Some Snack Packs. Yes, if you are lucky enough to win one. Yep, it's in there. This is my local town here where I live. Just got off the train. Mm -hmm. That's Mount Fuji right there. No, just kidding. That is the Shonan Mountain Range. Beautiful evening skies in the wintertime in Japan. Yep, all is gorgeous. The sun has set. What else can we do here? Ha <laughs> more vending machines. Oh, here's a different one. This is a Mega Milk vending machine. Mega Milk, they're calling it. It's one of the classic ones. Definitely retro, old school. Couple of different types. You got the standard full fat milk. You got coffee milk. You got strawberry milk, fruit milk. Fruit milk? No, thank you. Uh, hmm, I'm gonna try. See, here's the menu. They've got six choices. Definitely gonna get some coffee. Just, or coffee au lait. Cafe au lait with milk. Coffee with milk, yeah, I mean, it's a milk machine. They're selling their full fat milk, so 
cafe au lait and one of the regular milks. I think that's what we're after. So, uh, Mega Mirka, number one and number five. So number one is 100, number five is 120, okay. One twenty. We'll do number five first. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it says Oishi Mirka, delicious milk. Mm-hmm. It looks good. It's four point six percent fat content. Is that right? That's high for milk, isn't it? Thank you. Yep. Thank you, one more, E. Uh, All right. The service man is here. Look at that, more more milk. Okay, mega milk. Number one. Oh, so cool. So cool. Thank you. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. He says the machine sells between 20 and 30 of these a day. 20 and 30 a day. Pretty kind of small potatoes, I guess, but you can tell he loves his job. Lots of pride in Japan. And now it's time for some milk and cookies. Oh, this is the cream of the crop right here. The cat's pajamas. Definitely high quality stuff. Full fat Japanese milk. Here we go. dessert like so creamy oh that's good ah, Japanese milk is amazing I didn't used to like it when I first came to Japan I thought it was too rich but oh once you get used to it oh, so good just don't drink too much of it it's very high calorie okay I made a bit of a mistake here I meant to buy the coffee one but I got two of the milks however they are different fat contents 3.5 and 4.6 fat content so let's try let's just try the cookies I want to really wanted a coffee I don't know what happened there it was the guy came the service guy and I think I just maybe just pushed the wrong button it happens it happens it's all good I'll go back because that machine is not far from where I live so here we go this is my favorite snack, my favorite snack in all of Japan, the Every Burgers, the little chocolate cookies in the shape of hamburgers. And they really do look like hamburgers. Japan does a killer job. So here, you've seen me eat these before, so I'll just briefly show you what they look like. Oh yeah, who wants some chocolate cookies? Hamburger cookies. <laughs> Bite size, you gotta love that. Mmm. It's a crispy cookie. It's a darker chocolate as opposed to a milk chocolate. So the chocolate represents the burger patty. Look at that huge patty. Oh yeah, heavy chocolate on this one. Woo! Okay, milk number two. Look, number two. This is the extra fat. Better shake it up. 4.6% fat. That's a lot for milk, isn't it? 4.6% fat. Let's check it out. Oh, my. That's too much. It goes well with the cookies, but... It's just too much. Oh, it's too fatty. I think I like the 3.5% better. Yeah, 3.5. And I think standard Japanese milk is, what is it, 3.2%. And that's pretty high itself as well. Who wants to get some? Help yourselves, everyone. Quite a few left here. Get in there, jump in. These are so good. 
So now it is time to rate this meal on my scale between one and six Eric heads. Where are we going to go today? It was definitely a treat. Had lots of great vending machine foods. Found a lot of new items that I've never tried before. And I always like that. It's always cool to find new machines and like different things that surprise me. That's what I really like the best. So anywho, I think I'm going to have to go. This video is going to be Suzuku. It's going to be continued. So that means there's going to be snack packs. I'm doing a giveaway. That's how the video gets continued. What you guys need to do if you'd like to try to win one of my get some snack packs, I'm giving away three. And just put a comment down below. That's all you have to do. You'll be automatically entered for your chance to win. And I announce three winners in the very next Eric Mealtime. So it will be continued the very next Eric Mealtime. So I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. I'm thinking about starting a new series as well too, pretty soon. So we might be changing to three uploads a week. Let me know if you guys are interested in some other sort of content besides just the food videos. I did a poll a little while back on the community tab and many people were interested in Japan travel vlogs. So that's gonna be coming up. I guess I gotta try it, right? A lot of people, wanted that. So pretty much each and every one of you are my boss and I will do everything that you say within reason. So, <laughs> so I really want to try to make some new kinds of content in 2021. So please support what I try to do. And if you don't like what I'm trying to do, then let me know and I will like cut it out or stop it or, you know, do whatever it is that you suggest. I really appreciate your input, whatever that may be. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I look forward to reading your comments and we'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team, get some.